Professor Mark Higdon. Uh, this is video number five uh, for FM341, developing a silhouette sketch in Adobe Illustrator and working with the pen tool. This follows up uh, how to set up your file with an inspiration photo in video four. So um, just as a reminder, you should have two layers in Adobe Illustrator. The first layer, which has your photograph, is locked. Your second layer, which should be highlighted so that it is the active layer I called sketch, and it should not be locked. So when I'm drawing a t-shirt um, and working with a photograph, you can see here that the pose of the model is not exactly straight and flat. She's got a bit of an angle to her uh, shoulder line. And so a sketch for a tech pack needs to look pretty flat. Um, we don't want it to look like the person is running down the street. So normally when I'm drawing a sketch, I'll work with whatever side looks to be the easiest and flattest. This has a little bit more of a curvature and wrinkles. Um, so I'm going to work with the side on the left. And the way that I approach this is thinking about big shapes of the garment. So I have the front shape, which is one shape. I've got the left, hand, left sleeve, which is the second shape. The right sleeve, which is the third shape. And then I'll need to do some sort of a back V collar, which will be the fourth shape. Okay. Uh, please remember that the photograph is just a point of inspiration. And yes, we're going to use the lines of the silhouette as a guide, but you should, as you're developing it with the pen tool, take into account and try to make it um, the silhouette that you want it to be exactly. So we're using this for inspiration. We're not trying to knock it off exactly. Okay. When I'm drawing the front, I'll draw half of it. Then I'll make a copy of that and flip it and bring it over to the other side and join it so that the right side will mirror the left side and it will eliminate this uh, diagonal line of her shoulders. Okay. So with the pen tool, make sure you have a white fill and black stroke. If you're missing a color, the red diagonal line means that it's empty here. You can either hit the D key on your keypad or left click on this little mini white box and the black outline, and that is the default white fill black stroke. Okay. So I'm going to start here at the V and a little left of center, and I'll make my first anchor point. Let go of the mouse and move it. Don't depress any left clicker. Just move the mouse to the upper point of the shoulder line where the collar is. And because this is a curve, when I left click, I'm going to hold the mouse and move the mouse so that it curves the line. Okay. And if I actually move the mouse north, I'll follow the curvature of this line. Now you'll notice I'm a little off on this. Doesn't matter. I can go back fix it. Okay. So I always encourage you rather than backing up to redo it is to continue moving ahead and you can always go back and readjust it. All right. Because this was a curved line, before I move on I have to get rid of this last uh, handle so I'll left click on the anchor point once, come out to the edge of the shoulder line where it meets the collar, where it meets the sleeve rather, and this is a little curved so I'll left click and drag just to make it a little bit of a curved line. Because it's a curve, I'll left click on that center anchor point once to get rid of that handle. I'll let go and I'll move my mouse and come underneath the armpit. And I'll left click and hold and just give it a little bit of a curved line here. Again, because it's a curve, I'll left click on that center anchor point once and let go. Then I'll come down to the high hip area here. It is a hourglass shape on this t-shirt, although it's somewhat subtle. So when I left click and hold the mouse, I'll pull it out just a little bit to give it a little bit of a curved line. 
let go because it's a curve I'll left click once on that last center anchor point and then I'll come down straight pretty much to the bottom just to create the outer left hand side of that hemline that I made a straight line and the last point I'll come back to the center not all the way over to the center and you'll see that uh, there's a purple line that pops up that tells me that I'm going to be corresponding with the line above. And I'll left click once and let go. Okay. So if I look at this, select it, click off it, I can toggle off the original photograph here, and I can see this, this looks pretty good in terms of the corresponding layout of the silhouette. So you can see using the pen tool here, I've picked out particularly po strong, important part points along the silhouette, and just left clicked on those points, and the line of the pen tool was actually filled it in for me. Okay. Now, if you remember when I made this top point here, it's a little left of where this actual line follows. So with the direct selection tool, I can actually go in on that anchor point, left click and drag, and adjust it and bring it over just a little bit. Okay. Now if I select this, hold down the option key on your keypad, you'll notice that I end up with a little second white arrow. That means I can actually left click on this and drag it to make a copy. So I don't have to do a control C, control V to copy and paste. I can actually select something, hold down the option key, I get the second arrow, and then I can left click and drag that shape over to the right hand side. So that will make the right hand side of the t-shirt. Right. To flip this, do a right click on your mouse, which will bring you to some shortcuts. Come down to transform, over to reflect. You want to have vertical checked in the circle click preview and you can see that it's going to flip the, that left half to make it the right half. I'll click OK and then I will left click and drag and move it so that is a little space between the two halves. I can use that with the selection tool to move it. I can also use the key, the arrow key on my keypad to uh, align them. If you don't want to have them overlapping, you want to have a little bit of a space between them. Okay. So I'll left click in the background to deselect it. On the first layer here, I'm going to get rid of the eyeball so I only see the sketch. Now to join these two halves here at the top and the bottom, because we want this to be a continuous line, so it's a closed shape. I come up to the direct selection tool, starting above the sketch, left of center, left click and drag, and drag a box around those two open endpoints at the top. That will highlight the two halves. Go to your keypad and do um, Command J, and that will automatically join them. The other thing that you can also do, I just showed you the shortcut, is you can go to Object, uh, Path, Join, and you can see here the shortcut is a Command J. But I always try to encourage you to do the, the shortcuts because it will be uh, much easier as you move forward and faster. Okay. So you can see here I'm a little out of alignment. If I actually use the delete anchor point tool, I can delete one of those anchor points and it becomes a straight point of line, straight across, okay? And if I 
I zoom in, control plus. I can actually grab these two anchor points and just make them so they're a little bit more aligned. I can also move them together. Or I can use the pen minus tool and actually delete that anchor point. Okay, so remember, selection tool allows you to select and move the entire shape. Direct selection tool allows you to actually zoom in and move an anchor point as you need to adjust it. Uh, command minus to zoom out. Okay, so I have the front half of the silhouette here. I'm going to toggle back um, the t-shirt layer one view. Now to create the sleeve, because her arm is down, it's conforming to her body. If you took this t-shirt off her and laid it on the floor or a table, the sleeve would actually come out. So that's how I'm actually going to draw this. And again, I'm going to draw it as a closed shape. So I'm going to come back to the pen tool. I'm going to start on the inside of the ground of the front of the t-shirt. I'll draw the sleeve. So it's a female, a little bit more of a short sleeve because it's rounded. I'll left click on that center anchor point to get rid of that last handle. Come down to the edge. And I'm going to make it so it's alignment pretty much to the um, underarm area. And I'm actually making the shape a little bit larger because what I can do is arrange this shape and send it behind so the edge will be hidden. And if I select this, do a right click arrange send to the back, you see that this edge is actually hidden from the front edge. Okay. To make the other sleeve on the right, I can actually select this with the selection tool, hold down the option key, which I spoke about earlier, left click and drag, a sleeve over to the right. With this still selected, do a right click, Transform, reflect, make sure you're on the vertical, check preview, click OK, and you can move it so that it, the edge is hidden underneath the front. Okay, so that gives me pretty much the front done of the t shirt. Um, you can always move things around so that everything is nice and neat. Now to do the back collar, if you took this shirt off the model, the back edge, you would see if the collar would come down a little bit. And I'm not going to worry about the ribbing right now. I'm just going to do a very simple silhouette to get us started working with the pen tool. So on my sketch layer, again with the pen tool, I'll start a little bit inside, make one anchor point, come over to the other side. I'll make another anchor point, but I'm going to keep that uh, mouse left side depressed, and I'm going to drag the mouse a little bit so that I curve the line just slightly. Because it was curved, I'll left click once on that last center anchor point. This time I'm going to come down and actually make a square bottom because what I'll do is I'll select this shape, go back up to the starting point again and close it. I'll now select this, do a right click arrange, and send to the back. Okay, And then using the arrows, I can actually move this up a little bit so it's a little bit more in alignment. All right. So that's a very simple t-shirt uh, creating a silhouette and using the selection tool, direct selection tool, the plus tool, and the plus um, minus, as well as the additional tool, uh, pen plus tool. 
if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. Um, and uh, thank you very much.